Here's the video of a six-foot alligator being captured from Yolanda Lewis's home. I'm Paris Flanagan, your 7 Paris reporter, and I spoke to her about this encounter, one that she says could have turned out way worse. On Memorial Day morning, Officer Yolanda Lewis and her dog Harley got an unexpected visit. And when I seen it, I didn't know for sure if it was an alligator or not. But by the time I came outside with my dog, that's when my dog started barking aggressively right here. So I'm looking, I couldn't see because it was dark. So I couldn't see exactly what it was. So after I heard it hiss, that's when I backed up and I went in the house. An alligator chilling in her yard. It was a sight that shocked Lewis, raising questions. Where would it come from? Like, where would it come from? She lives near East and Laurent Street in Opelousas, an area known as the Hill. So it's unclear how the little fellow hunkered down in her yard. But according to this video, he made himself at home. He came underneath here. I didn't know for sure it was an alligator or not. And then he came all the way through underneath this truck right here. And he ended up resting. He stopped right here on the back end of this truck. Alligator coordinator Jeb Linscombe with the Department for Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries says this time of year is mating season and, and warmer temperatures lead the creatures to roam away from their aquatic habitat. But what you should not attempt to do is to handle the animal yourself because it could be dangerous. What, what a landowner needs to do is uh, primarily is to secure uh, children, elderly people and pets and make sure that you know they're taken away from the animal and they're safe and then immediately contact again one of our regional offices uh, and we can send a nuisance trapper out there. I'm glad we called him because they got kids pass here all through the day and at nighttime he could have oh, they easily could have climbed on white and climbed the fence and could have got hold to one of them kids and that would have been another bad situation you know. To read more information on what to do if you spot an alligator, you can head on over to our website at ktc.com. For right now, reporting in Opelousas, I'm Paris Flanagan, your San Landry Parish reporter.